in this video we will dive into the second layer of marketing as a department where we will understand what are the different objectives that the marketing department is given how those objectives are determined and how then the marketing department goes about achieving the goals that they've been set by the overall business now in order to understand that again we will take the help of a concept from our previous chapter previous video you will remember in chapter 4 we discussed hierarchy of objectives and hierarchy of objectives breaks down the overall business's objective so that every department and every employee understands what their role in the whole business is and now in just a quick reminder of how it works is the company will have a long-term aim from that will come a mission statement from that a corporate objective which is changed either yearly or whenever the external environment changes and from those corporate objectives the next layer is the departmental objective so that helps us to understand that whatever each department has to do it has to be in line with what the overall business's objective or the corporate objectives are and another point here is that a business does not just comprise of one or two departments it's of many departments and we know four which will always be there marketing operations finance and hr so until and unless all of those individual departments combine and have their objectives in line with the overall business objectives nothing will work for the business so one thing is to take from this is that it must be in keeping what the business wants to do and secondly marketing will be in working in coordination with all the other departments throughout the year so marketing and operations for example have a very very close relationship because marketing finds out what the consumers want the demand side the supply side the ability to produce is what the operations department looks after so we will look at of course in a little bit more detail or uh, that relationship later on in another video but here i want you to understand that marketing is one of the departments that will get its objective from the overall company objective and those objectives could be any one of these increase sales increase profit improve the brand image of the company which will lead to more uh, customer loyalty offering new a wider range of products increasing market share all of those things are what marketing department will be tasked with doing so before determining what exactly the objective of the marketing department is going to be the business will look at a certain factors before coming to that decision and they are divided into forms external factors and internal factors so let's look at the external ones first starting with customer behavior so customers are the other part of the market what the business is looking at what the marketing department is dealing with so how the customers behave if their tastes are changing if their spending patterns are different if they habitually they're different their behaviors are altering if any of that is happening the marketing department has to react and through their research figure out what the new changes and they try to find a product which matches that new customer demand so custom behavior will be a big part of what the marketing department's objective would should be the level of competition you have in the market so if you're a monopoly with no other business to compete with then you probably won't need to market at all people will only have one option to buy from but if you have a competitive market where a lot of other producers selling similar product to yours then you know that more advertising more convincing more customer loyalty will be required so marketing efforts and objectives will be more towards that the state of the economy so when we know that things aren't looking so good when the income levels are going down unemployment is going up things are getting expensive and the economy is not uh, supportive to spending then you know that people will button down they will try to open their wallets less frequently which means that spending on products will be less so marketing will obviously adjust their objectives according to that because that's beyond the control of the business the government laws sometimes some policies will encourage certain products sometimes they will discourage so sometimes uh, imported cars are encouraged sometimes they are discouraged and that will determine whether you sell more of less of it, more or less of it when the government decides to change the policy and then technology so we've seen that more bikes are sold because more kareem and more bikeia and such users are there and more people are involved in that business so we're seeing a higher sales of that as a result happening so 
on that is linked to this. Uh, food Panda, again, a great example where because of Food Panda, many businesses, small, large, all sizes can now start to sell their food items on the app. So technology will also play a big part. When we look towards the internal factors, we have these starting with market research. Now market research is a huge part of marketing department. We will talk about it in the next few videos in a lot more detail. But market research is the actions taken by the marketing department to figure out what the consumers want, how would they want it delivered, where would they want it delivered, what prices would they want, would they be happy to pay. So everything that has to do with what the consumers want and what your competitors are doing comes through the market research process. And that's where you find out exactly what the consumers want, what the type of product is. So that's where internally you have to look at your own market research. Remember, this will have to be conducted by the business to figure out things for itself. So this is an internal process. The business conducts it itself. Therefore, it is an internal factor. And a couple of things that come from this market research are forecasted sales, and forecasted profit. Okay. Now, forecasted sales is an extremely important concept. Okay. So important that uh, I can't put a word to it. What forecasted sales does is, imagine the start of the year, business is deciding what they have to do for the next whole year, and they will start giving their objectives to the individual departments. The first, then the CEO is sitting there with all the departments that's trying to figure out what we should do. The first piece of information that all these people will be looking at is your forecasted sales. Okay, Now, forecasted sales is what you expect to sell in the coming year. So let's say I'm a car manufacturer. I made 1,000 cars last year. What am I expecting to make next year? Would it be more? Would it be less? So in trying to project what you will be expecting to sell, you find a few things about the business. First of all, let's say from 1,000, we're going to 2,000 cars. I know that I need more people to produce that many cars. So HR knows what they have to do. They have to hire more people. So HR gets their objective from the forecasted sales. Operations knows they have to make twice as many cars. So they have to go and get resources, land, labor, capital. So they find out what they have to do for the next year from the forecasted sales. Talk about finance. Finance will have to make money available to operations for buying the resources, HR to pay the salaries of the employees, marketing to conduct its promotional efforts. So finance also knows what they have to do and they also find out what profit we'll be making from that one number. Marketing, of course, then decides how, what number of products we have to make, what type of products, what varieties to make. So all departments get their instructions from the forecasted sales number. So it is a very, very vital piece of information for the, in the whole objective cycle. That's something that comes from market research. And then forecasted profit shows us whether it is feasible, whether it's worth our while to put in the effort and go through with the following strategy. So two very important pieces of information from market research. And finally, the amount of finance you have available will determine how big or how small your marketing budget is going to be, which will determine whether you have a famous actor playing a role in your ad or is it someone nobody knows. So all those factors combined internally and externally will help a business to determine which marketing objective to follow for the following year. So once the marketing objectives are decided, the marketing department then internally within itself has to come up with a marketing strategy. And they look at these three things to figure out what their strategy is going to be. Starting with first, the target market. What is the type of audience that we are targeting? What levels of income do they have? What are their tastes? How frequently does that change? So first you have to narrow down to one particular type of market, a particular group of people that you'll be targeting with your product. In addition to that, you will need a marketing mix. Okay, now that's the set of four concepts that we will learn in a later video, but marketing mix are the tools of the marketing department. Collectively, product, price, place, and promotion form the marketing mix. 
And obviously you'd want to do things that you're good at. So you want to figure out what the business does well. Uh, is it their, the quality of their product? Is it their customer service? Is it the quality of their marketing? So whatever they're good at, that's what they want to highlight in these marketing efforts. And a combination of these three will help to determine what the strategy is going to be, which is your plan of action going forward.